Hey, let me ask you something. You're a Christian, right? My question is for you is, how often do you read your, read your Bible? That's my question. How often are you spending your time in the Word of God? How often are you spending your time in prayer? You're spending time fasting? And how often are you worshiping? But for today, I want to ask this question. How often are you reading the Word of God? Because when it comes to walking with the Lord Jesus Christ, it is important that as believers that we're in the Word of God and that reading the Word of God should be a habit and it should be something to help us go close to the Most High. And it's important that we have the Word of God hidden in our hearts so we'd be more inclined to be obedient to God so that we can have the strength we need to walk with Him. And it says in the book of Matthew chapter 4, verses 4, and Jesus quoted the scripture against the enemy who was tempting him in the, wood, in the wilderness to turn the stones to bread. But guess what Jesus said? Jesus asked him and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Before I gave my life to Jesus, I call myself a Christian. I went to church every Sunday, and I didn't. I didn't really care too much about church, and I really, I didn't really care too much about God that time during middle school or the high high school. I honestly didn't care, because all in in my world, because in my world, it's all about it was all about me. I was I was like a selfish person. I didn't care about the word of God. I didn't care about Jesus. All I cared about was succeeding in life. That's that was my mindset. And I didn't read. I didn't even take time to read the word of God, though I did read a children's book when I was younger. But I didn't. That really didn't affect me affect me that much. And I really didn't even bother listening to. Reading, reading the actual Bible, cause I didn't like. First of all, I, I didn't like reading, and also I didn't really care until during high school and during my freshman year. I decided to give my life to Jesus, and after that, after that, life's never been the same since then. And. After I gave my life to Jesus, it actually, and after I experienced, I had an encounter with Him. My life changed, and when I got baptized, I was looking for a Bible, and uh, I tried go buying the one at at Walmart, King James. But my grandfather, who was a pastor, gave me gave me this Bible. I read I read it till this very read the Bible try to read my Bible every day to this very day and when I started reading the Bible and you know I started at the beginning of the book of Genesis and when I look when I looked at it when I read the words it, it was like like very different different and it was as if like God was talking talking to me like speaking to me through the Bible and and also there was no here in there but I know for a fact that I was, as I was reading the Bible God was speaking to me and that inclined me to want me to read more and I, and the first time I read I picked up my Bible and I opened it I kept reading it and I kept I kept reading and I want I want I want more of God's word and as I continue to spend more time in God's word I got to experience experience his love joy and peace and I, I started and I started to get to know know God and get to know who God is and that's how I was able to develop that personal relationship with him and yes you do have to pray you do need that faith you do need to fast you do need to worship but it's nothing more, more important than spending time in His Word, and I'm grateful that I picked up that that Bible.
because it's great reading, reading it and it's great talking with God. And and the more you and the thing about spending time with God, the more you spend time with God's word, the more you spend time with God's word with God, and you get to experience experience his love, joy, and peace, and you start to get to know him, and you start to begin to build build your faith in him, the more you'll be inclined inclined to obey him. The more you be inclined to do what he says. And and you get and you and he he knows and you know what he's saying and you trust what he's saying because you look you see because you know what you're reading in the word of God. And as I continue to read it, I want to become more like Christ, become more like Jesus. And. I was and I started. I was reading the Bible. It started. It started. My life has started to change. My mind. My way of thinking started started to change. My think and I wasn't thinking lots of thoughts that much anymore. And about about money, fame, and all that, I didn't really care about that too much anymore. I didn't really care too much about dating dating anymore. Cause I was as I was reading the Bible. Cause. I was spending time in God's presence through His Word, and I I like nothing more than to be in His presence. And it's a great feeling when you experience God's presence. And if you're a Christian today, if you call yourself a Christian, my question for you again is: Are you reading the Word, the word of God? Because as a believer, man does not live by bread alone. We don't live by food. We don't live by the things of world, things of this world. We don't live by money alone. Money, money, job, car alone. We don't live only by with those things. But as a believer, we live by every word of God that proceeded, every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And every every word in the Bible has value and is significant. And though, and then you know why it's so significant? Cause the Bible changes you as you read it, and as you give your, and after you give your life to Jesus. And you may read your Bible, read your Bible, and you might not think too much of it. But after you give your life to Jesus. When you pick up that Bible, oh, it's gonna be different, cause, cause oh, the Holy Spirit, as you read the Word of God, the Holy Spirit is ministering unto you. He's speaking to you, and helping you understand what the Word of God, what what this passage is saying, what this passage actually means. And you start to and you start to understand it, and you start to hit that in your heart, and that inclines you to be more obedient to God. And. If you're a Christian, and if you're a Christian, and you're not reading the Word of God, then I gotta say this: What are you doing? You say you're a Christian, but how come you're not picking up your Bible? Like, I, if you're a Christian, you should you should at least know 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 the Word of God, and you should you should at least have. It's, it's one thing to believe in Jesus, but it's another thing to not live by the word of God. That's that's a that's a whole other thing. It's one thing to have faith, but it's another thing to not live the lifestyle that God's called you to live. It's another thing to not live to not live by the word of God. And if you're not living by the word of God and you call yourself a Christian, and if you do read the Bible, it's either two things. Either one, you don't listen to God. Or two, you're just hardening your heart. You're not even listen and not even allowing God to change you. It's important that, that if you're if you're a believer and if you call yourself a Christian, well first of all, of course, you do need to give your life to Jesus. Like actually. 
if you if you didn't give your life to Jesus, then you're not you're not a Christian. You you're just not. Like without Christ, you're nothing. Without Christ, I am nothing. Like it is what it is. Yes, you do need to give your life to Jesus, and you do need to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, so we can receive the Holy, so we can officially receive the Holy Ghost. And I mean, yes, when you place your faith in Jesus, you do receive the Holy Ghost. But when you get baptized, you let the world know that you belong. You officially belong to Jesus Christ, to God and God alone. And. And the Bible is so important on our walks. And that's what people fail, fail to understand. Because without the Bible, I don't think I, I don't think I would want to be where I be today. Without the Bible, I don't I wouldn't even be making this video. Y'all not y'all might not think this. Y'all might say you don't need the Bible, but you know in the back of your mind you need the word of God. Your spirit needs the word of God. Your soul needs the word of God, cause the thing is about thinking about your soul, it's long, it's longing for something. It longs for a relationship with with its creator. And fortunately, they came, they came and spent time with him. If you want to, if you want to have a relationship with God, first of all, you need to have faith and believe, believe in Jesus. And place trust in them. And also, you need to read the word of God. So you can get to know God. So you get to know his characteristics. So you get to know what know why God says who we say he is, why God does this and that. And I know in our humanity, we're not there are times we're not gonna understand why God does this and that. But at least you'll get get a get a bit of understanding why a God is the way he is and why God allows certain things to happen and, and some answer, answer questions of to life may be answered if you read the word of God but most importantly if you want to if you want to get to know God personally if you want to build a relationship with God not only do you need to have faith but you need to read the word of God and most importantly you need to live by the word of God because one of the things that God calls us to do is be obedient to him and we, you, can't, you can't expect yourself to have a relationship with God and you can't expect to call yourself a Christian if you're, if you're not willing to be obedient if you're, willing, if you're just willing to reject his ways but the thing is the more you and I'm, t I'm not saying this to condemn you or anything but you have to read the word of God. Every every believer must read the word of God. It's not a it's not it's not a recommendation. It's a requirement for every believer. Anyway, that's all. Do pray this video inspires you to to read the word of God and to spend time with Him, because He does want a relationship with you. Till then, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for future videos. Don't be religious. Follow Christ.